We believe that um, bilingual education is very, very important in the Indigenous context. And I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of the Council, which is all Indigenous. And the reason the school was started was to be a two-way school and to teach Indigenous language and culture, as well as the Northern Territory curriculum. And um, they've maintained that stance from the beginning and we don't believe that um, teaching Indigenous language impacts adversely on any of our literacy or numeracy programs if we're talking about um, teaching English. And um, in fact, we believe it helps. What's the evidence that you've got to make that observation? In the first place, the, when the students come to school, their culture and their language is accepted. They're given a status. They're not frowned on for talking Aboriginal languages in their playground or anywhere else. They're speaking their normal languages. And I think they feel comfortable and at home in an environment where they can speak their own language. And I think they feel important if their culture is valued and seen to be important for them. Um, th that is crucial, first of all. Secondly, I, I think the work that we're doing in teaching Indigenous languages here reinforces what we're doing with the English literacy. We're teaching them to read and write in their own languages and we believe the work that they do there um, helps and assists what we're doing in English. One would have to look at that from outside and say, well, there's very little literature in Arundel, there's very little lit literature writing in Walpuri and in some ways you're breaking new ground by introducing and teaching children to read in a language which traditionally has never been written down. Does that present any issues for the school in terms of practical uh, application? It prevents, presents challenges, very much so. It, it's quite true that theirs is an oral tradition, but um, if we're going to keep those languages alive, they have to be written down and they have to be learnt by others so that they can go on existing. And we feel what we're doing is a very valuable part of that. In our Language Culture Centre, much of our work is preparing written material, stories that we have put down in their own language that we can teach to the children so that they learn the words and they're able to write them as well. So that stories that are passed on will eventually be written down. Do you see a future for that? language as a written language, for these languages as written languages, or will it always be something that's used as an educational tool? I'd like to think that there is a future. It depends how seriously the government and other people take this. There has been a decline in the number of people speaking Indigenous languages. In the last survey of Australian Indigenous languages, um, they showed that the decline was fastest perhaps in some of the rural centres in Western Australia, say like Kalgoorlie, and that, that you know people lost their language in those centres. That's a real worry to us because Alice Springs would be like that. There are a lot of people coming and going and there's the real threat therefore that these people would lose their language mm -hmm. and with that their culture. Have you had any problems with with your bilingual program apart I mean you obviously believe that it's a strength for the school and any teaching uh, language in general are there any difficulties that you have in practical terms? Yeah very difficult in practical terms it's hard to get good teachers when I say good teachers it's hard to get language speakers who are trained um, in education for example and who are, are, are good at teaching it in a, a conventional way that we would like. That, that is a real difficulty that we have, staffing. But it's still working, would you say, overall, despite those difficulties? Yes, it, it has its phases, it goes up and down, and there are times when it it's really is good, it's flourishing, and then we lose a teacher for a while and, and there's a bit of stagnation. But it picks up again. So are you as a principal seeing students graduate from Iparinya who are literate in English or, or reasonably or approaching literacy in English and in their own languages? 
I think we're beginning to see that. Um, we, we, we really struggle to you know, get our students to the benchmark levels in the NAPLAN tests and, and we're having some success with that. And you know, some of them are achieving quite good results. But um, others are struggling and those same students have difficulty in writing their own languages as well.